Hello once again guys and welcome to watching my special vehicle guide which today will show you how to get this FIB truck with bulletproof tires. Let's get on to it. If you want this vehicle, you must absolutely pick loud approach for the heist. Best crew for the maximum take with loud consists of Eddie Toe, Packy McCrary and Ricky Lukens. Packy and Ricky are unlocked by specific events, so if you want to use them for the heist, google how to get them before choosing the approach. Whichever crew you pick though, loud will always give you less money than smart, so I don't really suggest picking it unless you want specific special vehicles it has, like this FIB. Once the setup mission is on the map, we need to enter garage mode. Loud has only one setup mission, which fortunately is the very mission with that special FIB truck. I truly do suggest getting some armor before you enter garage mode, since there will be intense action going on later. The garage mode is just a generalizing name used by special vehicle collectors to describe a rather glitched gameplay state. For this trick, you of course need to have the interior garage bought. They are unlocked after the story mission Father Son and cost $30,000. If you need money, I suggest using this location to collect the money briefcase. Just jump into water and on the sunken platform, you will find a money bag worth of $7.5,000. You can come back here over and over until you have the money necessary to buy your garage. If you play any version from 1.0 up to 1.27, you can enter the garage mode quite easily. Just enter your garage and try to jump onto this tire rack until you get stuck. If successful, you will be teleported outside of the garage and eventually fall onto Los Santos streets. Unfortunately, jumping in your garage was patched with version 1.28, but no system is flawless and you can still enter the garage mode, however at the cost of more difficult method which has caused a lot of headache to many people. For this trick you need a small car that can enter the garage and a taxi. The next part is complicated and requires precise timing. Press the button which activates the taxi side mission and immediately run into your small car before the dialogue ends. Uh, hey, if anything's available, I got time for a job. This trick might need being sort of familiar with what taxi dialogues sound like and turning on subtitles might help as well. Once in your small car, wait until the taxi dialogue is about to end and few microseconds before it does, press the enter garage button. This is dispatch. I got a job going right now. If done correctly, you can exit the car after the dialogue ends, something you normally wouldn't be able to do. You will now again be placed into garage mode which is noticeable from Black Heart and it means that you can run around freely while the game still thinks you are inside of your garage. There is another method to enter garage mode and that involves pouring gas in front of your garage door, then lightening that up and pressing enter garage on your bike. This is much easier but I do not suggest using this method much since it removes the HUD and it does not allow you pull up the interaction menu which is useful for many special vehicles. Regardless of your method, garage mode will always be and act exactly the same. Just like in garage normally, any vehicle you drive will be teleported to your garage as if you were taking it out from this. Only way to trick this mechanic is using an interaction menu. While you have it pulled up, you can in fact drive vehicles around, but the moment it closes and you are pressing gas, you will be taken out of garage mode, so be cautious. Once the garage mode is active, we need to go to that FIP truck either by running or using an interaction menu, doesn't matter, it's your choice. You can check the location of the FIP truck on the map, and bear in mind that this mission marker is in motion, since the FIP truck is most of the time using that shown route to reach Cup House in downtown. Bear that in mind if you wish to add waypoints, since there really is no point adding one on setup mission. I suggest going here on this highway to give this truck a warm welcome. If you have issues with pausing the game on PC, use P ladder instead of escape. Once on the highway, make sure the FIB truck has yet to reach your location and try to cause traffic jams in front of you. This will later be helpful since you cannot use any combat in garage mode as you have to steal the federal unit in a kind of tryhard way. Once the truck arrives, you can see that it doesn't really want to stop, so your traffic jams will be a good obstacle for this truck. If it drives there slowly, try your best to catch up. 
and this FIB will be packed with noose units. So once you manage to open the door to steal it, give your best to get inside as soon as possible and press gas or you will be absolutely slaughtered. If successful, you will be teleported to Michael's garage, impounding the truck in process. From there, it is really easy. You can pass the mission, but bear in mind that Jewel Heist will automatically start after it, so you'd have to pass that too. So it's faster to abandon the truck and fail the mission. Just get out and drive far away. Once the mission fails, we want to press exit and this truck can be found in Michael's impound. I suggest taking it out and storing this to some other garage, since impounds are not really reliable in the beginning of the game. But bear in mind that if you play the version 1.0 on Xbox 360 or PS3, you can absolutely not put that to safe house garage, since bulletproof tires will be gone. So watch out for that in those versions. All garages in later versions are totally safe. Bulletproof tires are everything this truck has really, which is abnormal for such a truck as it cannot be modified in Los Santos Customs. It doesn't have any special colors and the carbine rifle crate in the back cannot be saved either. By the end of this video I would rate this vehicle tricky. It requires garage mode which might be a totally new thing to learn for many people. Stealing it without weapons might also be pretty tricky. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video you can let me know about this by hitting a like button and of course by subscribing. Also make sure to hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of my videos in the future.